Once again, the DFW Hospital Council is reporting that there are no staffed pediatric ICU beds available in most of North Texas. Brooke Katz in our CBSN DFW studio tonight with details and what this means for your children. Obviously, if they do get sick, what happens? Yeah, and Doug, right now, hospital representatives tell me they are still able to care for children that come their way. This is the second time our area has been down to zero staffed pediatric ICU beds. It also happened just about two weeks ago. This is for a 19 county area. Area that includes the Metroplex. And as you can imagine, all of them are so busy right now. They're doctors making rounds, so none were able to provide an interview, but they did share some information. Children's Health saying, quote, our number of available beds changes very frequently throughout the day as we are experiencing a higher volume than usual at this time of year. We continue to be prepared and equipped to provide care for children in North Texas. And that really was the message also from Medical City and Cook Children's. They all pointed to the continual flow of admitted and discharged patients from the ICU. Cook did say capacity is tight, but they are not sending patients to other hospitals at this time. Meanwhile, Medical City is strongly encouraging those who are eligible to get the vaccine. They're also reminding everyone to keep taking safety precautions like masking and hand washing that can help not just with COVID, but also other respiratory viruses. And we do know it's not just COVID that is causing this influx in children's hospitals. Hospitals. They are also seeing a higher than usual number of RSV cases, which Doug is unusual for this time of year. It is. Brooke, thank you.